Hello everyone Welcome to the second video of question and answers stream and today we will talk about dynamic TDD In LTE there are two spectrum nodes can be supported for LTE LTE is designed to support both paired spectrum or A or frequency division duplex or unpaired spectrum via TDD or time division duplex using the same radio access scheme and sub frame structure and configuration protocols as you see in this figure this is TDD will be channel downlink and uplink will share the same spectrum but for FDD downlink slots or subframe will be have dedicated channel and uplink frame will be have a, another dedicated channel for LTE TDD the same carrier frequency is shared in the time domain and between uplink and downlink each TDD frame is 10 millisecond long and consists of downlink and uplink and a special subframe with, with 1 millisecond duration the S subframe is used for s switching from downlink to uplink transmission direction LTE supports 7 different TDD patterns which offer, offer uplink and the downlink ratio from approximately 60 to 40 and also from 10 to 90 with a frame of 10 successive TTIs also in LTE TDD the concept of a static configuration or ratio between the uplink and the downlink is exist but for 5G new radio the dynamic TDD concept is a new concept can be used to change the free configuration of the cell dynamically to adapt to the variation for uplink and the downlink traffic so to improve the overall system through boot 5G new radio utilize the radio resources in more efficient way by adjusting uplink and the downlink creates in a real time depending on the amount of the traffic or the nature of the service being offered for example if you have a heavy traffic or hotspot you may need ratio for downlink more than uplink and if you have another application or use case massive IOT for example you will have or need uplink connections more than or slots more than downlink so if you see this is the static TDD uplink and this is the static TDD downlink here the mobile will transmit in this direction and this is the desired signal and here this is the desired signal and there will be somehow of interference as at the TDD the static TDD for downlink this is the desired signal and this is the desired signal and the another red one is the interference for dynamic TDD you will see there are different or uh, is called cross interference from user equipment to user equipment interference also for uh, node B or G node B to G node B interference and here there is uh, some signal or desired signal 
So dynamic TDD can be used to change the frame configuration of cell to adapt the varied uplink and downlink uh, concept new at 5G to make the radio channel or the air interface more flexible than LTE TDD okay if you like uh, this video you can subscribe and turn on the alarm of notification to can receive all updates of my videos okay for today and thank you